Hi guys, I thought I'd get you up to scratch, up to date on how my 5 star bets are going since we started in December. What it is, I have updated all my all my bets week by week, day by day when necessary and they're all on my home page which is profit.co.za and this is the page you'll see. At the top of the page is myself with Frankie de Tori, in case you don't know who he is, he's one of the best jockeys in the world. He's an amazing UK jockey I came to South Africa a couple of years ago and I met him and uh, we had a good time. Okay, so from there, what I have done, I started in December with 1,000 rand. And my type of betting is I bet a percentage of my bank, I bet 20% of my bank on each horse. But I have a very interesting, important decision is that I do not place a bet if it is not 3 to 1 or higher. Now, what you've got to understand is that in horse racing, it is not difficult to win a race. In actual fact, if you bet the favourites all the time, you'll win about 33% of the time. World over, it's nearly always 33% around there. But the big problem is you lose because the odds are not high enough. If the odds were higher, and you had 33% or more of winners, then you would make a profit, which is exactly what I'm doing on my five-star bets. We're not betting anything less than three to one. Now, because of that, I do miss a number of winners, but I also miss uh, the, the not getting decent odds about the horse I'm betting on. So, first tip for you, make sure your odds are high enough, otherwise you will lose. Imagine going to the casino. You cannot alter the odds at the casino. You're, for instance, if you're playing uh, roulette, you've got red and, back, and black, excuse me, and they pay you even money on either side. But they've also got the advantage, as if zero comes up, you lose both bets. Now this is the odds, slightly less than even money, and this is why you lose at the casino, or why the casinos win in the long run. In horse racing, you decide the odds. You see what the bookie is, you see what the odds are, and you decide if you want to take them. If you don't want to take them, you don't. And basically you're saying, well, they're not good enough. I'm only going to bet on decent odds. And this is what I've done. Now, starting with this thousand bank, if I look the, actually at the bottom of my page, you can see here that my first few bets for a for, uh, thousand, I was betting 200 land a horse or 10% or sorry, 20% of each one. Right there up until my, because I was getting decent odds, until my thousand land had passed 10,000 land, just betting 20% of your stake all the time. Once I'd got to a thousand land, I left all the money in the kitty up till then, once I'd got to th uh, 10,000, sorry, once I got to 10,000 land, I took any excess bets that I was having because at 10,000 land you're actually putting 2,000 land on a horse. So if I one ending past 10,000, I withdraw it. And this is what happened. If you look at my bets here, I got right up to here 10,713. So I just took off the 713, left my 10,000 rand intact. And my first bet then was 2,000 rand, which gave me 2,000 rand on a loser. Then my, my betting then came down to 8,000. I had a kitty, then six, then four, then eventually Four bets to five, four or five bets later, it won, and I had a five to one shot or six to one shot here, which pulled my bank right up to eight thousand. A few more losing bets, and I got up to seven thousand, had a nice winner, and followed by a decent win again, and it took me up to seventeen thousand. I couldn't have done this if I'd been betting on even money or two to one. This is because I'm betting decent odds. So, when I got to 17,000, I would do the 7,000, carried on and on with another 10,000. That, again, we had four losing bets to start with. Then we had the winner. We had the winner here at four and a half to one. Then the loser and another four, four to one. And that took us up to 12,000, uh, 12, 11,208, which I took 1,200 off. And we carried on. Now, at the, as it stands now, we have got in our bank, we've got uh, 10,000, well actually it's 8,000 because my last bet lost. We've got 8,000 rand plus we have withdrawn 8,900. So we're winning over 16,000 rand. I'm saying that, that does include your initial 1,000 rand if you like. So this is what I do, this is how I do it. And if you look at the bottom, if you go up here, you can see that I'm very selective. I've only had 
20, it would have been uh, 34 bets since we started in uh, December. I've published them all. These are what my clients get. We're only getting one or two bets a week now. I'm normally doing it on uh, Fairview. And if any good week, good bets come up in the week, I'll take them. So this week, for instance, up to date now, we've had 34 bets. We've had 14 winners and 20 losers. Um, our average price of winners is 3.7. Well, don't, don't forget that we only need to have 3 to 1 to break even. So 3 to 1 is uh, 3.7, so it's only slightly better than the average, but it's good enough. We had 43% winners, and this is why we're now making 16,000 on it. If you're interested in joining me, I charge uh, a thousand rand for a month. Uh, for that, you'll get the selections at Fairview. I, I do fairly comprehensive. I do the, uh, apart from my five-star bet, you'll also have uh, a buy pot uh, and one or two other bets that, uh, if I think they're good, that you can bet on as well. In the week, if I see something that's of interest, I will pick it out as well. Now, for interest, haven't now that you've watched nearly the whole video, I'll show you your little bonus here. Is that? Let's have a look here. This is for tomorrow. This is my account with Interbet. You can see I've got. I'm making a profit here of thirteen thousand four hundred. I started with the the thousand, same as same as I suggest for you. So with thirteen thousand four hundred, and tomorrow, I'm just putting on at this stage. I'm putting on eight hundred land to win on Oyster King. That's in uh, tomorrow. They. Race seven of Turfentine. So you've got a, a free tip for me, from me. So tomorrow, I, and I've taken three and a half. It says four and a half because that includes the stake. I've taken 800 to win 2,800 with an 800 land drop. If that loses, then that comes off my bank. So there we are for tomorrow. You've got my bet. Thanks for watching. If you want to join me on a longer term, not to get just the freebies, it's a thousand a month. Twin, uh, a thousand a month for five meetings of Fairview and anything that I find in the week that I like. So, if you want to join me, it's a thousand and look forward to hearing from you in the near future. Bye-bye.